Pulse chain. 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 I think the prices are going to go down 85%. I think Bitcoin is going to go down to 11K, 15K, somewhere down there deep. I'm watching that grayscale premium discount, the, the 30% off, 31% off fake Bitcoin from grayscale, sucking away all of the institutional buy pressure so that no one will buy normal spot. Until that goes away, you're not getting a bull run. It usually trades at a 20% premium, but now it's a 33% discount. Why would... Wall Street that loves to buy grayscale Bitcoin more than real Bitcoin, it usually trades at a 20% premium historically for the five or six years it's existed. Why would we have a real bull run when you can buy that encapsulated, encumbered, no right to redeem kind of fake, but it's really there Bitcoin? As long as you can buy grayscale Bitcoin for a third off, it's no one in, in legacy is going to buy normal Bitcoin. So if you, if you made a coin called uh, Frisbee coin, and then you gave it a trillion supply and you sold one for a dollar to a friend, you now have a trillion market cap supply coin. That's the number, right? Okay. So, so, so the price is set at the margin, in other words. Well, it's, it's a made up imaginary number that no one can make money on. So you can't place bids or asks on the market cap chart. If you're an exchange or a uh, market maker, you can't make money on market cap. It's literally nonsensical. People attempt to use it as a proxy for price performance, hoping that they can get a low cap gem. And then they just end up selling really early because they didn't realize it's a made up number so it can go to insanely high levels. Like for instance, Bitcoin goes over a trillion market cap. Try and sell a trillion dollars of Bitcoin. Let me know what happens. It goes to zero. If you try and sell the real estate, it goes to zero. If you try and sell the gold, it goes to zero. If you try and sell the houses, they go to zero. And so you end up with is people are just smart enough to be dangerous. So they think market cap is a way to act as a proxy for price predictions. Yeah, launching in a bear market's cool because it allows you to get a higher rate or higher ratio, like a higher multiple, you know, because it's, it's just easier to multiply a smaller number than a bigger number. So, you know, Ethereum launched in a bear market, uh, Hex launched in a bear market, and it looks like Pulse Chain and Pulse X are gonna launch in a bear market too. Cool. <laughs> Best time to launch is in the bear market, in my opinion. You're gonna have the coolest looking chart, right? So all the technical investors are gonna love your chart, right? Hockey stick, right? That's my preference. Um, you're gonna get the most of that launching in a bear. If you launch in a bull, beginning of your chart's gonna have a big old blah, 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 and it's gonna create all this resistance on the way back up, and it's no fun, right? You gotta fight every level on the way back up. I don't like that. I'd rather just have one nice hockey stick launch in the bear. Have 50 weeks to shake out the losers that don't believe. Because you shake out these guys and they sell for way lower than they had to. And then they don't get the ability to sell later and it makes it easier to go up. So price volatility and shaking out weekends, it hurts short term, the chart, and it's amazing for the chart long term. I dumped my free money real cheap. You sold your future. Good job, dude. Most people in cryptocurrency are apes and they will do whatever they think they can make money with regardless of the risk. And they're the reason that you hear about people losing all their money all the time. They have no concern for what could happen. They just care about, you know, yield or gains now. And they don't they don't think about well what happens if the front end goes down? What happens if the team is malicious? What happens they don't care about any of that? And then they just lose all their money. And I could tell you that in general, forks of Ethereum have done extremely well price wise. Extremely well. And I know that, so and this this is the first one of its kind to bring system state with it. Can PulseX do 100x? Why wouldn't, you know, what's wrong with 10,000x? Why can't it do that? Seems fair. It's well within the realm of possibility. If Ethereum did a 14,000x, which it has so far, why can't something that's better? And so I think a 14,000x is a reasonable estimate for what could be possible for Pulse because that's what Ethereum did. And this is a very similar thing, but better.